Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today I want to talk about finding the derivative of this function at the form of e to the ax plus b. And so um, we require the a to be non-zero because uh, if a is zero, then what happens is that you have e to the b, and we also assume that b is a constant. So in this case, we are actually getting a constant. And when we differentiate a constant, we are going to get zero. But actually, what we want to talk about here is to find the derivative of an exponential function. So in order for this to be an exponential function, we require a, the coefficient of x, to be non-zero so that it will be an exponential function. And also, we are going to just assume that a and b are real numbers, right? But I didn't put it down right here. OK, so now, um, how do we take the derivative of this? we are going to use the chain rule to differentiate this function and also the rule for differentiating an exponential function. Um, first, we need to identify which one is the outer function, which one is the inner function. Okay, So when you get better, you actually may not even need to write this down. But this time, we are just starting with just some basics. right? So first, we are going to say that the outer function Okay, so the outer function is e to the x in this case, or you can simply write it as e to the blank. Okay, so um, the outer function is the exponential function, the inner function is whatever that's in the exponent. Okay, so um, the inner function, what is the inner function right here? We have um, just the exponent, which is ax plus b. Okay, so we put it down here ax plus b. And just imagine that you put in this inner function into the outer function, then or you, you can just simply substitute this ax plus b into this x here. Or even better, you can put it inside this blank here, and then that will give you back the original function. Is that OK? So now, what we are going to do is to just recall the chain rule. Um, what is the chain rule here? Let me just recall that. So the chain rule, okay, is that when you have a uh, when you differentiate a function inside another function, let me just use the same color here, the outer function, and then there is also the inner function. Okay. So what are we doing? Um, when we take the derivative, we are actually getting. The derivative of the outer function, and then you plug in that inner function in there. Okay, so the inner function, you still just copy that in there. And then you need to multiply. You need to multiply by the derivative of the inner function. Okay, so that's the chain rule. So now we are going to apply the chain rule to differentiate this. OK, so now what happened is that we are going to be having f prime of x. OK, so first, let's take the derivative of the outer function. The derivative of e to the x is simply just e to the x. OK, so just e to the x. Let's use that color here, e to the x. But now I actually don't want to put x right here because I need to plug in my inner function, right? So. If I'm getting e to the x, and that x is going to be replaced by the inner function, then I need to, instead of putting an x here, I need to put in the exponent ax plus b. OK? And then now you may say, what about what's next? Next, we are going to multiply by the derivative of the inner function. What is the derivative of the inner function here? Since a is not equal to 0, that means this is a linear expression right here. So we are going to be getting what? Just a, right? When we differentiate ax plus b. The b is a constant, so it will become 0 when we take the derivative. So you're actually getting just a. And so cleaning up this expression, we actually have our answer, our derivative for this function here, which is a times e to the ax plus b. OK, so that's our derivative. OK, so now um, let's say we run into different types of problems. For example, let's say if we want to take the derivative of uh, e to the 5x minus 4, for example, then what are we getting here? So you know that the a is in the front, right? So what is the a? a is the 5 in this case. So we have. 5 and then e to the 5x minus 4. 
see that it's actually that simple let's try another one um let's say you have e to the negative x for example there is the b is zero in this case so what is the a a is negative one which is the coefficient of the x right that's negative one so we are actually getting negative e to the negative x yeah so let's just try one more right let's just try one more and then you're going to end this video. So let's say we have, um, let's put a different one right here, uh, seven plus three uh, X, for example. Okay, so now I change the order, but that doesn't change what A is, right? See that A is still the coefficient of X. And so you're just going to put a three here and then E to the seven plus three X. And then that's that. Okay, so whatever number that's in front of the x, you put it as the coefficient of the exponential function, and that would be the derivative for this. Okay, so that's it for this problem. If you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and share my videos to others. It will give me support to make more videos. If you have questions or have a topic that you want me to talk about, please leave me a comment. I will really appreciate it, and then I will consider making the video on the topic that you tell me. Thank you for watching this video.